What's going on, collectives? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in. I'm so happy how you guys are handling certain situations from my past two readings um, that I'm uploading. So this is good. You guys are really speaking your truth and validating your own feelings with um, full moon. I'm burping, y'all. Y'all know what that means. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see what messages is here for you, Hermit. All right. So let's see. I think the hermit, the hermit is all about you guys really taking the time out and going into solitude. You guys have sacrificed a lot of your friends, your family, your time out to learn more about yourself, your journey. Maybe you guys picked up some sort of spiritual practice. All right, let's see. He's coming out in twos. All right, so you got the full card and you got this three of swords. All right, the full card is a new beginning. The three of swords is a heartbreak for somebody leaving a relationship. All right, what I can see is the full card is y'all out the door already. Y'all made a decision already. This is a new start for you guys. You guys, this is a brand new door. You guys are opening to your life after making this decision. All right, you got your you got your money that you need, whatever it is that you have, even if it's not a lot, you got that, you got your ID, whatever the 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 important things that you need. See, you the food card speaks about starting a fresh journey and opening up a door to a new life because you chose to. All right, it's that door that always was there, but you never decided to open it. So now the food card don't even talk about a lot of baggage. And the other food card, it just got like a handkerchief over um your back. So you just taking like your important shit. Like your keys to the car, if you got a car, um, just the important shit, your ID, shit like that. All right. And maybe a dog and you out the door, you finally opening up that door to a new life. All right. And this person is heartbroken. This person could, could listen to terror. All right. So this person is really heartbroken or for of the, or for of the things that they are ha hearing through terror. Okay. They listen to terror all day, all night, and they just, they are not healing. And they are giving all of their energy into these readings. That's causing heartbreak. For some of you guys, they are looking into readings because of a heartbreak. So they, they want to they wanna see on what's going on with this person instead of looking at the readings and trying to heal themselves. All right. They are distracted. They are distracted by these tarot readings. They are distracted by this phone. They are distracted by gossip. And it's making them just scrambled in their own life and not healing nothing. All right. It's their mind that needs recovery. Okay. From this terror, from listening, from that phone. All right. So that's what you guys are leaving. You guys are finally opening up the door. Okay. Hermit again. Remember what I said? Hermit is all about going within. Like, this is like introspection. This is like you sacrificing a relationship. You sacrificing your friends, your family, you sacrificing a lot of things that was holding you back from opening up that door to a brand new life, a brand new journey. All right. Without the baggage, though, without the tarot cards, you know, being talked about in a negative light, without no healing, without no learning. This is somebody that's healing and actually learning for some of you guys. You opening up a door to a whole new journey of spirituality and your purpose. All right, you've done gained so much knowledge from this energy causing confusion, sadness, depression because they was going through something. You even may have learned something through terror. All right, is what I'm seeing. I feel like I feel like this person allowed terror to destroy your life. And to destroy this because you, again, are not destroyed. This full moon is illuminating a lot to this person on how Terra has destroyed their life. Not using their own intuition and giving their own power away to these Terra card readers. They may even have bought a terror deck secretly and felt fucking confused because that's tapping into energy and hold. That's communicating to spirits. They allowed so much distractions, phone, listening, terror. Okay. And that's what's being illuminated. And you guys are done. 
I'm telling you guys, seven of cups. You guys got another option. You guys are trading in that relationship and sending it back to the universe where it came from and choosing another option. You choosing another ticket. You, you handing in your tickets. You choosing. All right. For some of you guys, I'm hearing tickets on a call. So there could be a lot of tickets on a call this person is distracted about too. All right. But you are handing in your tickets. You know, you got a lot. You got a lot of options, actually. All right. You handing in your, 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 if I, you want another prize. You feel like this is, this relationship is not the prize and you got another choice. Okay. So you definitely are leaving and you got another choice. You got another option. You're not confused. You see the opportunities. It's not like you don't see it. All right. Oh, and the three of swords, the three of wands. See? So I love the three of wands because the three of wands is is acting on, on your plan. The two of wands is putting a plan. It's you seeing a plan. It's like you seeing another way. All right. Seven of cups. You saw another way. You, you, you opened up that door to a whole new reality, a whole new life. All right. And you chose another choice. And then you made it final. You acted upon it. It was an expiration date. Maybe you had a plan, but everything was in order. You had a plan and now you have packed your shit. You've left. You left out the door. Okay. Is what I'm seeing, collective. I'm hearing confidence. You have the confidence to do it. All right. The five of swords. Defeat. Give me more on this five of swords before I say something. Hold on. It was like you was getting all the facts straight. Too, for some of you guys. Give me something more on this five of swords spirit. Nine of swords. Wow. So this is what's going on. Before this situation led up to you leaving, you choosing another option and packing your shit. All right. You made sure to get all the facts straight. You made sure to really get all the facts straight before you um, hands in that test before the cycle was like you was being tested and you was getting all the facts straight so that way you could back up this decision all right and now this person and is in a nine of swords three of swords they can't say nothing they can't defend the listening to tarot card readings they can't defend the tarot card readings destroying your relationship they can't defend them using their own mind and blaming okay it was a blame game and they can't blame nobody no more. They are distracted. Everything is left in their hands. They done did too much bullshit. They done filled up all the pages to their life. There's no more room. All right. Yeah, look, the ten of wands. See, y'all moving. It's like the three of wands. All right. Y'all expired. There was an expiration date. Y'all gave this person like. Uh, ultimatum. If y'all don't get y'all shit together by this time, I'm out. Okay, I'm out. And that that didn't happen. It kept going with the terror cards. They kept doing the stupid shit. So y'all handed in y'all 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 chose another option, and y'all packed. Y'all moved. All right, y'all started moving, and then y'all made that final out the door, new beginning. Y'all opened the door. Y'all left out that door. Okay. So let's see. Let's get more into this reading. So spirit, tell me more about this food called this new beginning. Um, you can have a white dog. Um, you probably love that dog. Or there's a certain dog. You don't give a fuck who stays. You taking that motherfucking dog. You hear me? I'm telling you, that dog mean a world to you. <laughs> that dog mean a world to you. Spirit, tell me more about this food called this new beginning. Just opening up that door that always been there. Yep. 
Y'all at peace with that decision. Full of swords. Y'all at peace with that decision. Y'all at peace. Look. And it's over. Death card. It's over for that relationship. It, it's over for that. Those tarot cards that this person was trying to use. It's over. Look, it's over. Spirit, tell me um, more about this three of swords. This is like even trying to manifest from a broken heart. Trying to just abuse terror. It's going to lead you to confusion. Look, and it led them right into fucking confusion. They paranoid. They're scared. They're stressed. They know it's over. For this full moon, this is what this is what it's heightening. All right, Queen of Pentacles. Might be going towards that. All right, let's see. Why is this nine of wands here? It's like some you guys are at peace, and this person is not. Nine of wands. Spirit, tell me more about this nine of wands energy. Oh my gosh, they are not at peace. They are stressed. It's what they're seeing. They're watching terror. Remember, the nine of swords is this. These swords are not touching you. You're not physically being harmed. It's what you're seeing that's true. And truth requires change. And it's through these terror cards. They're watching terror. And the terror cards is telling them the truth. And the truth requires change and they not trying to change. They just trying to stay in that, in that energy. So the tarot card has been telling them the truth that this person is out. That look, the seven of cups to the seven of cups. They got other options. It's like, this is, this has been double confirmation. It's like the intuition is telling them that. They're out. They got other options. The tarot card reading has been telling them. And physical. They've been telling them they got other options. No more clarity. Spirit, tell me more about the seven of cups. Uh, they traded in that relationship and they gave it back to the universe. And they walked away. Eight of cups. It was unfulfilling to them. They weren't happy. All right. Look. They, honey, they close out a cycle. The world cards is the end of the tarot deck. So it's like this person has learned all the lessons that they needed to learn. And this tarot card bullshit that they were trying to do was just the icing on the cake. Okay. Was just the icing on the cake. All right. The world card is literally you guys opening up a door to the new reality. Oh, shit. You got the full card that starts out opening up a door to a new journey. And you got the, the world card. It's like, it's final. You chose. Yup. And you defending. You defending your choice. All right. So spirit, tell me more about um this three of wands. This is y'all packing y'all shit. Y'all may have packed y'all shit before. And this person thought y'all was y'all y'all never left before. Damn. Y'all, look, this shit was about to fall. Y'all packed y'all shit and it was their worst nightmare. They're living a nightmare right now. All right. This is a lot of swords. So this person could be a, a um, a air sign. Okay. A air sign. It's a lot of swords. Okay. But this person is living a nightmare right now. This is actually those swords that they see and actually physically doing something, meaning communication, everything is physical now. They know that this they can't do nothing. It's like they cannot stop this person no more from leaving. They can't. All right. So they're living a nightmare right now. Whoever this ear sign is or operating out of this ear energy. Ear, yeah. All right. So spirit. Now this is like somebody needed all the facts. Or this could even be somebody cheating or cheating or being accused of cheating all right somebody could be being accused of cheating and or reality you were trying to know what affects that situation or something like that spirit tell me more about this father swords 
This also signifies defeat. You defeated somebody by getting all the information. Yup. By speaking up. All right, yeah, about speaking up. About speaking up about your life. Your decision making. All right, you got all the facts straight. And you probably even started speaking up about cheating. All right, yeah. <laughs> so for some of you guys, there's Empress energy out here. And Empress is all four queens in one. They are powerful manifestors. They are very fertile opportunities because they allow time and energy to be poured in. They are very good nurturers at what they do. All right, they know the process of birthing to the world, a project, a baby, everything, they know the process, all right, they are one with spirit, all right, they bring life into the lifeless, okay, so this person probably was cheating with the empress or was getting a fact straight before they go with this empress because this empress is a star, so for a lot of you guys, you might have your own successful business. You are a great mother figure. You are a great mother. You pour into people. You nurture people's ideas. You bring life into shit. All right? Yup. And when you came in, you released them from a negative life, a negative path, a negative relationship. All right? Yup. A, a king of pentacles, justice. You brought justice to the situation. All right, justice signifies balance. It signifies truth. It signifies breakthrough. It signifies also karma. All right, so yeah. Spirit, tell me more about this devil and his king of pentacles. Yup, they was in a karmic ass relationship. Say no more. All right, this relationship did not do anything for their abilities. All right, it was very toxic, negative, filled with drama. All right, and but now they found the plan. Remember what I said: the two of wands was a plan put in motion. Well, here go the three of wands. But first, they had to push in order. They had to get their facts straight. They had to do a lot of shit. They had to build enough strength, enough courage to do a lot of shit spiritually. All right, spirit, give me more about this star and this empress, please. That is. Brand new love. This is a gift from God. Okay. This possibly could even be a child. A star child being born. For some of you guys. Okay. But this is, it is divine love. All right. It's that option. It's that option that they chose. Remember the seven of cups they gave me the tickets. It's the option that they chose. Yup. It's the secret option. This option has been hidden. It was that, it was that like, it was that option that you had under the belt. All right. The King of Wands. Yeah. This King of Wands always had that option, but it was at this right time. They took it. All right. The Three of Wands again. And they, they're waiting for their ships to come in. So this is beautiful. I love you guys. And I hope that helped. Don't never allow Tarot to destroy your relationship like this. And I see that y'all didn't. Y'all in Empress energy. All right, so this is you guys knowing that it's not about terror. It's about what you're listening to. It's about what you're giving your energy to, your time and your effort that even allowed this relationship to manifest for real because she was trying to keep that relationship and manifest it into brand new love for you guys. So I love you guys and I hope that helped.